Hey everybody, Cheeto here. We are back on the unnamed SMP server, and I am just overlooking all the work I've done uh, up until now. Not done yet. Not done yet in this area, but this dome is completed. As you can see, it's got a nice little glass roof on it. I would just need to place some of that with glowstone and light up these corners. But other than that, I am pretty much done with this building. And uh, as you can see, we've got someone moved in and went a crazy with the hardened clay. It's a lot of clay, man. But that's really nice looking. And someone's gonna move in over here. As you can see, they flattened all that land. It's a unnaturally flat, like over here, but oh well. They'll be back eventually. And I am still living in a cave, and we need to fix that. So I figured, you know, since we're done messing around with this thing, I am going to head into the nether, we are going to head in one direction, and we are going to find us some newly loaded area that we can settle down and make our home. First I gotta gather some more obsidian, but you know what, I'm not going to let you watch that. I just wanted to give you a quick progress update on what I have done here. I think it's making those cave noises because it's so dark and under the dome. But I'm going to gather up some see, obsidian if I don't have any. Nope, I don't got any. Alright, well I'm going to go gather some up and I will be right back. We will be in the nether and already heading out whichever way we want to go. Silk touch if I came across any more nether quartz and uh, spent a little bit of time at the uh, ender farm and I got me a nice silk touch diamond pickaxe and a good fortune pickaxe too. So I have some nether quartz I got saved up. Ultra run nether and it's got plenty of hard play that I need to use it anymore. Let me tell you, I have a lot of fun. I don't know, do you, do you remember my quote unquote mini models from the first few episodes? I'm not necessarily proud of that. I really think I just went crazy with that. It does not look nice. Huh. That seems big on the phone. Oh, sorry. I've been looking over modern builds, and I'm thinking to myself, you know, it wouldn't be too bad to start doing that. So I have a way, and I think I'm going to do that when I find a new area. Especially depending on uh, what, where I am, like if it's in a mountain biome. I don't know if I want to do that. You know, I think I want to shoot for like forest or plains or a, even a snow biome that'd be fine but you know it's I'm just digging in one direction hoping come out somewhere good oh ooh, ooh, ooh. back up back up I don't have any blocks on the bar and that's bad I do actually it's those kind of slabs but didn't think about that I always think about using other quartz first because it's abundant Whew. I don't have a fire resist with me. The only thing I can do is ender pearl away from the lava at the last second, which I I did earlier today, and god knows it gave me a heart attack. Okay, so I don't know how far long I've been digging. Um been quite a while, I mean, you know, I kinda lost track. Uh digging and talking over here, so you know if you counted how many blocks I picked up, that's how far I've gone. But, you know, I am not satisfied yet. I'm just going to keep on trucking until I get tired of digging, which will be probably very soon, so don't you worry. We'll get there eventually. 
I hear fire, so I'm probably near a natural cave, so. Alright, let me keep digging up here and back. Doesn't hurt to pick up any more nether quartz on the way. Gonna need plenty of it. Or it's just nice to hoard. Gives you good EXP anyway. Oh well, either one, it'll work. Jeez, I understand quartz is as common as iron. I just don't want to go up there and get it. And it seems like as soon as I start pillaring up, a gas is going to spawn and try to shoot me down. But here I go. I haven't heard the terrible cries of the gas yet. But knock on wood. Oh, my dog heard that. He thought someone was knocking on the door. I'm okay. good. So this looks fairly unexplored, I and mean, and we're pretty high up in the Nether too, which is pretty amazing. Like I never seen such flat area like this high up in the Nether. I mean, right up there is where my tunnel is, so it's about there. And I, mean, I think that's pretty cool. I mean, you could easily convert this to like a gold farm, but you know. I'm not gonna do that. I'd rather do that above the bedrock where you absolutely know nothing can spawn. So I haven't read too much into that. I know an episode ago I said I was gonna try that, and it may be better said than done. Um, that probably depends on you know. It, it's probably better if you're on a single player world because. From what I remember, there's a mob cap, and there are only a, supposed to be a certain amount of mobs on the server at once. So, you know, I have no clue. I feel like I'm battling now. I'm just so focused. Like, it's so weird. Like, you'd think you were at the bottom of the nether, but it's like you were up at the top, man. It's crazy. Oh, I got sidetracked by the way. I stopped tunneling and I was like, oh, quartz. Alright. I think I'll get back to work. I don't know. Okay. Alright, everybody. I am about at negative 1,250. We reached another cave to make it a little easier along our journey. But I had to block it off. And these pigment are going to get all up in my way. I did not expect this when I started recording. Go on, get out of here. No one likes you. I'm just leaving stacks and stacks and stacks of netherrack uh, behind in my wake. And I can tell I'm loading new nether chunks because I know a lag this by here and there, which is a good sign. So if I'm loading new nether, I'm probably loading new overworld as soon as I get there. Ooh, it scared me. I thought it was lava. It's glowstone. I will keep that there for now. Just as a how do you do? I gotta build over this, so excuse me. Okay, oh, alright. 1240. It's almost hypnotic when we do this for as long as I've done this. Yeah, this peak was almost full when I started, so you can tell how much digging I've done. It's nice because it seems like it's, uh, it's going to be in a good clearing. So let's lead this road on through here. Oop. It should get me up to an X of negative 10,000 right here. So one there, one there. So let's get a screenshot of this. Blue, oh, whoops. Blue. So that would be negative 10,000, and then we can pull up my calculator and do a little mathematical calculation. 754 times 8. 6,032. So 6,032 by 10,000 is not that. It's pretty far away. It's not bad. I haven't traveled quite a distance. 
for many days. And you know what? I don't have a flint and steel. God damn. Okay, so I got back to my old abandoned house. I just happened to have one forgotten iron ore. Can I not burn? There we go. So, ooh, baked potatoes. I'll take those. And steak. Man. And, oh my gosh, I just forgot. And stacks of coal. Jeez, I just forget everything here. No wonder I didn't like it. But okay. Thank goodness I had that. Now back to the portal. You know what? I, I'm going to switch back. Texture packs. I just noticed. I was like, oh wait. This is not a texture pack I was using. There we go. Okay, so let's light this puppy. Uh, flame. More than likely, we'll be underground, so let's get our stuff ready. And let's hope we don't die. I'm not very geared up. This is a good sign. Oh, we are above ground. And we are in a snowy plains, it looks like. Which is bad. I wanted horses. Oh well. Good enough, I guess. I'm gonna wait for this place to render on up. You know what I'm gonna do though? I see a zombie all the way, so I'm gonna block up this, because when I go back into the nether, I don't want any zombies waiting for me. And I'm going to wait here until day. So, uh, I'm gonna just hide in my coward hole. Be, be right back. Yeah, they're all. Yeah, I just loaded this in. They're all coming for me. Jerks. There's still one going to the nether waiting for me there. Scared the pants off of me. Alright, so the day is breaking. Get your butt out of here. And. From the looks of it, on the dynamic map, uh, we are pretty. We got some a jungle and a swamp, and pretty much mostly extreme hills, which I don't have a problem with. But if I can find, I don't care to do that. Okay. So let's see. Let's head in one direction. This nether portal actually surprisingly came out in the right place. Uh, 19,637. Whew, a mouthful. So, uh, got some sheep. Let's head west. Uh, let's head north again. I think I saw a jungle up here, so. Hopefully there's a nice jungle temple. Uh, even if we're not in the plains, turn that down a bit. Um, we're still in newly generated territory, so there will be dungeons with name tags and probably better armor. So uh, let's wait for this world to render in because these are new chunks. Uh, I apologize for any lag I'm causing on the server, but. So what I gotta do to get horses, I guess. That's what I really wanted to do, but if I can get a name tag, that'd be awesome. Ah, there's the jungle. I don't think anyone's discovered this, though. I need chickens. I don't really like chickens. Yeah, you can see the world loading in. Man, I was hoping for horses and fall damage. But, you know, if I could, I'd set my house up over here because well, I like the grass color. You know, it's a nice green, but 
it seems like, you know, I don't want to have to keep, you know, just clearing out snow every time it rains, and it rains a lot on the server, so. But all I'm looking for right now is Jungle Temple, if there is one, if applicable. Hmm. There may not be one. They're jungle sheep. Get our fly out of here. But other than that, it just mostly seems like uh, extreme hills and jungle. No planes. Oh well. Let's take a shortcut to wherever. Ooh, that got me far. I think I see something on here on that dynamic map. <gasps> pig. I don't know, a pink sheep, but it's a pig. Dynamic map helps out a bit. No, it's just a rocky area. My bad. Look about the same. Damn. I was hoping for something worthwhile to come out all this way. It ain't got nothing to show for it. The only thing I can do is probably get, get emeralds from the extreme hills. But other than that, I have accomplished something today. I've got new territory, new things, and the hopes of finding horses somewhere in this uncharted land. And hopefully a, a plains is just over the mountain. You never know. But whether this is a short episode or not, I want to end it off here. I am very tired. I've uh, stayed up a bit working on another series, a Minecraft related series. And I'd love your feedback on it because it does kind of require uh, kind of a group think kind of thing. So uh, it'd be nice if you give me your feedback on that. So I'm going to travel as far as my weary eyes can take me. But other than that, thanks for watching, everybody, and I will catch you next time. I'm just going to end it all that way. Boop. Boop, cactus. Good enough.